everyone this is going to be a tutorial on the Ortega method for 2x2 and uh, this method originally started out as a corners first 3x3 method and, but it was found to be a very efficient 2x2 method and when I say efficient I mean that it can be it's it's pretty fast and it doesn't require learning very many algorithms I think it's 14 um, it's very easy to get sub 10 with this method I can get sub 6 pretty easily and but there's some people that can get sub 4 so it's a very fast method and so the Ortega method has three steps the first step is to make a face on any side just solve a face don't actually solve the entire layer because it's slower and it's actually better if you don't and then after that you have OLL and then you have XLL which just solves the entire cube and permutes both layers it's also called PBL for permute both layers so the first step is pretty easy it's if you know how to solve a Rubik's cube you should be able to do it on your own uh, just know you can do stuff like if it's on the front you can do that or is on the side you can do that and if the white's on top then you can just do something like that uh, note that uh, you shouldn't always use white you should really be color neutral with 2x2 it's not that hard because the main thing that makes being color neutral hard is the F2L and there is no F2L on the 2x2 the second step is the OLL uh, there are seven cases and seven algorithms. Most of them you already probably know. Like this one is just the scene. It's recognized by one correctly oriented corner. And then we, when this corner is in the bottom left, we have yellow here, here, and here. You only actually need to see that it's here though, or in one of these places. The algorithm for that is R U R prime U R U two R prime. Then we have the inverse case of that, where we have, it looks the same from the top, one correctly oriented corner, but instead of yellow being here, we have it on the, the right side instead of the front. And for this case, you want to hold yellow in the top right corner, the opposite corner of the other case. And the algorithm for this one is R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. The next case we have, we have two correctly oriented corners, then highlights on the side. You want to hold the headlights to the left and the algorithm is F R U R prime U prime F prime. Then here we have an algorithm that looks the same from the top but we don't have headlights we have opposite facing colors and the algorithm for this one is R and you want to hold it so that the the two solved corners are on the right and you want to do R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. Next we have two diagonal uh, correct corners and we want to hold it so that there is yellow here or the top color here. Uh, not like this, but like this. And the algorithm for this is F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. Next, we have no corners oriented correctly, and then headlights front and back. So hold the headlights front and back, and the algorithm is R2, U2, R prime, U2, R2. And for the last case we have again no corners oriented and then we have one set of headlights but the other one is not headlights it's opposite colors or it, the colors are facing opposite sides and so you want to face it with headlights front and then the algorithm is R prime F R2 U prime R2 F R and so you don't have to use those algorithms, those are just the ones that I prefer. 
because they're easy to do on 2x2. Two two. There are lots of algorithms for 3x3 three three that you could use for instead of these cases. And so for the last step, we have the XLL, which just permutes everything and solves the cube. Uh, sometimes, you, when you make the first face, it will unexpectedly be already solved. So, and you have two cases where it's only affecting one layer. And for this, you can use the T-perm and the Y-perm. And so this is the T-perm case. You have two adjacent corners that need to be swapped. And you, you can recognize it by having uh, a 2 by one solved block here. Then hold the block to the left. The algorithm is r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime that's one of the longer cases but you might already know it since it's part of Friedrich then here we have another case where the bottom is already solved and we just need opposite swapped corners uh, it's you can recognize it because there is no two by one block anywhere on the cube, and you can hold this from whatever angle you want. And the algorithm is F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. And you might have noticed that was pretty long, but actually, all it is is this case followed by this case. So it's actually not that long. Next, we have this case where these two need to be switched on the top, and also on the bottom, there needs to be two additionally swapped corners. And then this can be recognized when you have a 2x1 on top and a 2x1 on the bottom. They're not always going to be the same color. It just in this case they happen to be so you want to hold those blocks on the back the algorithm for this is r2 u f2 u2 r2 u r2 for the next case we have on top needs to be switched diagonally and on the bottom needs to be switched diagonally this is by far the easiest case because the algorithm is only r2 f2 r2 for this case, we have two corners on the top adjacent to each other need to be switched, and on the bottom they need to be switched diagonally. You can see this by there's going to be no uh, two by one blocks on the bottom, but there will be one on the top. And then for the, so for this, uh, you want to hold the block in front of you, and the algorithm is R U prime R F two R prime U R prime. And then for the last case, we have uh, in a diagonal switch on the top and adjacent switch on the bottom. You want to hold the 2x1 on the front, and it doesn't matter how you hold the top layer. And the algorithm is L, D prime, L, F2, L prime, D, L prime. And then you just adjust the U layer. So that's all the cases for the uh, Ortega tutorial. Uh, I'll post a link to Lance the Blue Knight's site because that's where I got all the elves and they'll all be there in case you want a text version. So I hope that helped and I'll be posting a video on how to do the Ortega method fast soon. And uh, so thanks for watching and see you next time.